Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be creating the database structure for our files data type, and then also creating the page and software for files. So what are files? Well, when you're dealing with a client, maybe you have contracts, agreements, any kind of files that you need to use to share back and forth for added collaboration. That's what files here are. And the big thing with files is you need to be able to assign them to projects. That way we're only showing files that are assigned to those projects in our project detail page. Again, keeping things safe and secure, only showing the data that we want to show to the people we want to show it to. So to save you all some time, I've already created the database structure and added temp data in Airtable, but let's go over that quickly just so you can see how I structured everything and then we'll get to building it in software. Here we are in Airtable and you, as you can see, I have a name field to start us off here. And the name field is a simple single line text. Then for description, I have a long text. For a file type, this is a single select and it's either contract or deliverable. And for a project, we're using what we would call a linked field. So we're linking this to project to create that two-way relationship. We have added a created time field, which is a built-in date format in Airtable. And we have added a contract status, which is a single select as well. And so we have signed and not signed. By default, they're not signed. And then I'm just gonna go in here and add some more temp values to this of not signed. So that sums up our database side. Now let's head over to Softer and start building this thing. So let's go up to our pages, add new page, project files, and save. Now, we had a blank page here, a blank canvas, and there is a secret that we need to do here. Right? And that is that we need to add a list details block to this page. Because as soon as we do, Softer then recognizes this as a project detail page that it can go to and send information back and forth between with that record ID. And we're going to need to do this so that way we can link this page to a project detail page and only show the files associated with that project. Okay. So we're going to go up here. We're going to add a new block. That's going to be a list details block. And it's going to be with the side image again. And we are going to map it to our projects. We need it to be projects in order for projects to recognize this is a project details page. And for that, we're going to go to our conditional filters and say the project name is login users projects at the moment. So we'll have a project name is on the projects, meaning that the files will only show if the project that we are showing, this member is part of that project. It's a member of that project. All right. So that's good. Now let's go over to our content. And we're going to just make a lot of these invisible, only keeping the, is it the client name or the project name? It's going to be the project name visible. And we're going to make that project name much smaller. So we'll do something just like this. We're not going to draw too much attention to it. We're just going to keep it up the top. And that way we can have this project detail page and also add a little bit to the experience as well. So there we go. And now we're going to remove this action button and we have our little hidden list detail block. And that list detail block is going to do a lot. Let me show you. So if I go back over to pages, go to project details, and I click on this block right here, which has our invoices and our files, go to actions, files. Now remember, we want to open a detail page and we want to open the project files detail page. But this time, we're not gonna open it in a new tab. We're gonna open it in a modal and we're gonna open it from a sliding modal to the right-hand side. All right, so what do I mean by that? Well, let me show you. All right, and once I'm there, let's see if this is gonna work for us. It does, and here it pops up and there we go. Custom loyalty program, custom loyalty program. So it found the project that we were on right and then it showed the title here and now that all that's left for us to do is create this listing block for all the files that belong to this project as well all right and as since it's a modal makes it really easy just to pop it out right there and to stay on that page for a better user experience so with that working let's go back to our project files page let's drag it beneath our project detail page and we're going to add a block for a listing right here so let's add a new block. It's going to be a list block. 
And on the list block is going to be this one right here, list with deletable elements. And then once we're there, we're going to make this for files now. And another great thing about having a project detail block here is that we can click on this file, go to conditional filters and say that the project is any of the current records project. Oh, and that's the project name right there. So now we're saying, okay, because we have the details block here, we can now put blocks over here and reference that to make sure that we're only showing the files that relate to the project detail. It's a little confusing. So if you're a little lost, don't worry. Hopefully I can continue to clarify this down the road. But otherwise, we have this listing. Let's customize it, finish it up, and get on to the next lesson. So first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of these filters and the search bar. We don't need that. So let's go to content and I'm going to get rid of the search bar and I'm going to get rid of these filters. I also, let's see, I will keep add record here and then I'm going to say add file. And for this add file button, we now need to configure it. So we're going to have our file name. It's going to be text. Name. Name. And we have our description and that's going to be text as well. Long text description. And then we have the type, which is going to be a drop down file type drop down. Remember this is before if it's like an actual file or if it's a contract. And then we're going to have the actual file uploader itself. So file, and it's going to be mapped to the file and then we're going to use a field here to attach or assign the related project to this file and we've used this once before what would that be it's called a hidden field so we're going to go to add field we're going to search hidden and now we could say we're going to map this file to the project that is the current details record id now that's going to take the project of the project details that we have on this page and add that project to this file automatically for our users. And new file added successfully. That's fantastic. Now let's go in here and customize this content just a little bit. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add a title here. I'm going to make it a left align. I'm going to say files and get rid of that. And for that title, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger there. So that's cool. All right. And then afterwards, I'm going to use the type so it's going to be a tag. I'm going to use the contract type or the file type. I'm going to put it at the top here. I'm going to drag and drop this to the top. So we have that. I'm going to hide that file because we don't actually need that file. And then I want to update the name, the name, and then make it bigger here. So I'll make it maybe a heading two. All right, get rid of the label. We don't need the label there. Now let's add a description. So we could use a text or a rich text. Rich text would allow us to keep any formatting that might be in that description. But in this case, I don't think there's going to be any, so I'm just going to add a text and it's going to be description. And we're going to get rid of that label. And then we're going to add a new one here. And this is going to be called a separator or a line. Let's see what we got. Divider. There it is. We don't need a label for that. And then after that, we're going to add our file. It's looking pretty good now. I like it. Now we want to add uh, some styling to it because this doesn't really look that great. So let's see what we got here for styling options. Let's go to item fields. In the background option, I'm actually just going to make it white. So we have a white background there. That's better. Now let's go to our name here. And let's add a little bit more padding on the top. Give it some more space here. All right, that's looking good. And then we can get rid of some of the padding on the bottom because, oh, I see what's happening here. This one is making this one bigger. So we're going to keep that padding on the bottom. Keep it like that. All right, that's looking good. Now let's go into our, um, our tag and we're going to update the background color for the tag. Let's make this tag nice gray. And then we'll keep it black. 
keep it a dark black. And then we'll get rid of the border on this. We don't need a border, so we could just remove that. All right, that's pretty good. Maybe this file right here, we can add a little bit more padding. Go in there, add a little bit of padding. All right. And then again, with the separator, the divider, we can add a little bit margin top to that. We're looking good there. So I think that's pretty good. So now we just need to do a couple things to finish this off and we're almost there. First, we wanna allow people to download these files, right? So if I can click on it, I can download it. So we need to add a button there. And then we also want to allow people to delete these files. And most of our delete functionality is reserved for admins. So we wanna make sure that button is only available for admins. So let's add a couple buttons and then we'll finish up this lesson. Click on our block, go to actions, and this is gonna be an item button. The first thing that we'll do is we'll do a download file. All right, so we'll have a down, download button there and we'll just say download file, fantastic. Next thing let's do is we're going to say delete record. All right, and it's gonna be delete file delete file. And again, we're going to go in here and change the visibility to only admins you can see that. And then we're going to add one more here and it's going to be our edits. And we're going to say edit file and then update file. And then we just got to go through and update the fields that or add the fields that we want them to be able to update. In that case, we'll have a drop down for the file type. File type. And then we'll have a text field for the file name. We need to allow them to change the file if they want to change the file. File. And then we'll allow them to add or change the description with a long text description. And that should be just about good. We'll just maybe make that edit file. And I think that's good enough for now. So now we have our download, edit. That's good. I'm just going to uh, take one last look at this. And yeah, I think that's good. So let's go back over to our preview here and see what it looks like now with actual styling for that list on the page, all right? So I go here, go to files, and I have no files for this project, which is actually a good thing because it's just showing me that, hey, there's no files here. And even though that I have files in my database for files, none are associated with that project. Matter of fact, most of them are on refreshing brand identity. So let's go into Leia. She's an admin and we have that menu created. We'll go to projects and we'll go into that project that we have files associated with. And then we'll have click on files. And then we'll see our files appear here in a second. They're not appearing. Something's going wrong here. Let's fix this together. Okay, in our project files, let's start there. It's going to be projects. Let's do includes exactly project name here. So that for this, it's going to be exactly project name. And then for this one as well, let's double check up here. We're going to say project name is, let's do any of, is any of. Make that a little bit more loose. And it's going to be projects right there. All right, let's see if that works for us and double check and try again. Files, and there it is. So I think we were a little strict with our operators there. It needed to be a little bit looser in that sense. But as you can see now, we have this contract here and within that we can download it. We can do some additional actions because we are an admin. We can also add files right into there and then we can get out of there and just keep that good user experience. So a little bit more of a workaround there as it didn't work the first time, but that is developing software. Sometimes it just doesn't work the first time and you got to keep working through it. And hopefully this was just a good exercise of, of adding files to your database, creating the page for it. And then once you get stuck, double check yourself and work through it. And luckily enough, we have that successful result. And now we're going to keep moving on in this course. I'm going to create more functionality in the next lesson. So I'll see you there.